On this edition of Veterans Health Watch, we'll take a look at two programs that offer a holistic approach to recovery and wellness for mental health conditions. Please join us. Welcome to Veterans Health Watch, a program sponsored by the Veterans Affairs Maryland Healthcare System that provides the latest health and benefits information for Maryland's veterans, their family members, and the local community. I'm Kenya Griffin. If you're not familiar with the term holistic medicine, it may conjure up ideas of living off the grid. While that may have been the case in the past, holistic medicine is now considered cutting edge care and it's available to veterans living with mental health conditions at the VA Maryland Healthcare System. Joining us today is Dr. Carol Bowman, lead physician for the new Residential Wellness Center at the Perry Point VA Medical Center. Dr. Bowman, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. Could you please tell us how the idea of this new program, the Residential Wellness Center, came about? So Perry Point has a number of residential programs available for veterans who have uh, mental health issues and need treatment. For example, anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress, financial problems, legal problems, substance abuse problems. So they come to these programs and they stay on campus and it became apparent um, a year or two ago to our leadership that these same veterans have a lot of complex medical problems and that we could partner the medical with the mental health while they're here. And uh, the timing was perfect because the VA nationally is actually very innovative and in putting together holistic patient and family centered care whole health programs in general so the idea came about to provide the medical care in a holistic fashion while the residents are here getting treatment. So we're, we're using the term holistic. Let's describe it or define it for our audience. What does holistic care mean? So holistic care means different things to different people, but generally it's a, it's a concept rather than a treatment. Okay. It means treating the person, not the diagnosis. It means looking at root causes of illness, so not just treating symptoms like we do a lot in conventional medicine, but actually looking at how people get sick and how they get well, and really looking at wellness, building wellness, not just treating sickness, and partnering with people to help them achieve their health goals. So it uses a variety of different tools um, as opposed to just maybe procedures and medicines like conventional medicine does. When I think of wellness, when I hear wellness, I think of future and long term and maintaining or sustaining a certain lifestyle. Okay. Correct, yes. And how is it different from what many veterans or people receive in the public, or well, in general, when you talk about treatment? Well, it's like you just said. So generally, you know, within and without the VA, the conventional medical paradigm is really a sick care system. When you get sick, you go get help. But we don't really do much with helping people to get well, helping people to stay well. We generally just treat symptoms. So um, with holistic care, we really work on if you build health, by definition, you will be less sick. So we include the larger picture, nutrition, mind, body, the spirit, the community, exercise, you know, all the things that make people healthy. Yeah, because they're all connected. Exactly. Absolutely. And I understand you have a visual tool to show us and how, how you help the veterans. Can, do you have that? Uh, well, so yes. Yeah, so what I did, I've only been here a year. Okay. We started this program a year ago from the ground up. And I learned that there were so many interesting and amazing resources available here and in general in the Baltimore system for veterans, but they were all scattered. They were all in different departments and people really didn't know um, what was available. So we put a resource map together with the whole health model. So under each category of health, body, mind, spirit, heart, soul, community, environment, personal development, the circle of health, we then have a map of all the different programs, treatments, uh, referral sources, where, where they are, what they are, how people can get to them, and that way the veterans can actually stand and look at the resource map, figure out what their health goals are. And generally we want to, instead of you know the conventional model where we say, what's the matter with you? 
Yeah. We really ask what matters to you. And then we have them look at the resource map and we can give them specific ideas of what they can do and then we give them a written plan that they can take with them. That's, that's very smart because usually you remember what you see and you, you can pull it all together and this is a large campus so exactly. it's, it's, it's really helpful to see it all in one place. And, and see how it all works together as a whole. That's excellent. So can you tell us about some of the things a veteran can find at the Wellness Center? So fundamentally, we provide really good primary care. So, um, but we do it in such a way that it makes people feel comfortable, safe, relaxed. Usually when people go to the doctor, they sort of feel anxious and the waiting rooms are busy and noisy and sometimes impersonal. So, you know, we have a dedicated staff. Um, we have nice music. We have veteran art that the veterans here and the residential programs have done. So they get to see their art when they come to the center. And in addition to really good, solid primary care, referrals, all of that, um, we have um, biofeedback programs to help with like mind-body stress kinds of things. We are getting trained in battlefield acupuncture, which is ear acupuncture for pain and stress, anxiety, sleep. Um, we have an osteopathic physician who does manual therapy for musculoskeletal pain and disorders. And we have a number of groups, exercise, nutrition, women's health, pain recovery so we're really looking at um, how to help people get well and what kind of needs the veterans have again instead of just a laundry list of what's wrong and getting a pill for a symptom we really want to teach them how do you build health and how do you live a healthy lifestyle because symptom management can only go so far it doesn't get you well it just makes you feel less sick mm -hmm. but building health goes on forever you mentioned that you're just getting started. It's been about a year. You have so much going on already. What do you have in plan, in plan for the future? We want to keep building our tools and our resources. We want to keep, uh, keep building group education. Education is huge. People really appreciate having the understanding of why they're doing what they're doing. Um, and also on the larger scale, we want to collect data. We have just um, developed some, or not developed, but um, acquired some validated tools. We want to do data collection and patient satisfaction to show ultimately does a wellness model for people with really complex medical and mental health issues work and does it work better than the old model and if so can we share that model and hopefully expand it it's great so to that's be, our goal it's great to be on the cutting edge of, it is. of healthcare it's yes, exciting. it is very yeah. exciting so remind us again who uses the wellness center services and how does a veteran get started so currently we're partnered with the residential programs on campus. Um, people generally get referred either through a social worker or a mental health provider or they can call directly Perry Point and they are for um, mental health issues where they need residential meaning on-site treatment, um, substance abuse, um, there's a domiciliary program for people with homeless, jobless, and financial issues. So really if they call the main number, what we are is the whole health medical counterpart to the mental health treatment. And I just wanted to lastly mention that um, why this works so well when people come for that mental health treatment is because we know there's really no separation between mind and body. We, we tend to divvy those things up in healthcare, but this allows us to work in partnership the brain is an organ, the body has emotional and mental reactions, and so it's really a, a model where we can integrate with those residential programs and work on the whole person. Well, again, this is so exciting. I'm happy for our veterans, and thank you for joining the VA Maryland Healthcare System to help get this started. Thank you for helping us get the word out. Great. We'll take a short break, but when we return, we'll have information about the Recovery Center here at the Perry Point VA Medical Center, so please join us. The Appointment Call Center is a fast, easy, convenient way for a veteran to call in to schedule, change, or cancel an appointment. You can reach any of us by calling 1-800-463-6295, extension 7333. The call center is open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. till 5 p.m. If you need help scheduling an appointment, call the call center because we're here to help.
Welcome back to Veterans Health Watch. Some time ago I had an opportunity to interview Dr. Mary Gardner, a psychologist with the Recovery Center at the Perry Point VA Medical Center. Let's go to that interview. Dr. Gardner, thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. today. Let's start with some background information about the Recovery Center. Mm -hmm. So the Recovery Center is a group-based program that opened about five years ago on the Perry Point campus. Um, we, uh, our goal is to emphasize evidence-based practices, providing them for veterans who are dealing with mental health and or substance abuse issues, um, helping them to gain the knowledge, skills, and support they need to uh, manage uh, their mental health issues and or substance abuse, um, to kind of cope with their life stressors, in healthy ways and to just function better in their day-to-day -day lives. So how is the recovery center different than the wellness center? So the wellness center uses a holistic approach uh, to treatment, uh, coming at it more from the medical end um, or the medical side of things uh, and, and emphasizing somewhat more the one-to-one -one kind of working with veterans. Uh, whereas the uh, recovery center, we also use a holistic approach, but we're approaching it more from the mental health aspect um, and and day-to-day func -day functioning. Uh, and our uh, our treatments are all group or class oriented, uh, and so it's not it's not necessarily individualized in the sense that the wellness center has but the veterans have each other, the support of each other. Right. Um, uh, just as a, like a little anecdote, um, in my, one of my classes, I do a class on depression and we were talking about suicide and one of the veterans was saying, you know, it's just nice to be in a, in a class with others who have dealt with this just like I yeah. have and where else can I talk about this? Yeah, we, we hear all the time from our veterans that coming to the VA is so comfortable for them because right. they can talk to people who understand their language. Exactly. And who exactly. have a similar background. Right. So tell us more about the classes at the Recovery Center. So um, we, when we started five years ago, we only had you know just maybe 20 at the very most. Um, today we have 43 at last count, and by mid-June it'll be 45. Um, I like to think of it in terms of uh, several themes. So of course, um, uh, our main uh, thing we deal with is mental health. And so a number of classes deal with mental health issues. Uh, so people struggling with anxiety, depression, um, serious mental illnesses like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder. So coping with all those kinds of issues. Um, another theme has to do with physical health. Uh, so we have a nurse practitioner, uh, we have a, a dietitian, a pharmacist, um, uh, all kinds of medical folks who come and do groups on nutrition or uh, medications, uh, metabolic wellness, that kind of thing. Another theme is uh, social relationships. So a number of groups have to do with you know, uh, dating, getting back into dating and dealing with intimate relationships family relationships, general social skills, how to be more effective in your relationships with other people. And then the fourth theme, as I think of it, has to do with day-to-day um, -day functioning. So groups dealing with um, problem solving, um, um, you know, relaxation, uh, that kind of thing. And how do you work with the veterans to select the class that's best for them, or the classes that are best for them? Right, right. So we operate on a, what we call a recovery model, which, which the idea is to empower veterans to make choices. Our, our belief is that veterans are the experts in their own recovery. Um, we do give, give them feedback. So they are referred to the recovery center. We have a way to show them when they come in for our orientation, way to show them what the referring provider suggested, and they know the veteran better than we do, at least at first, so you know we're giving them that feedback. But ultimately, veterans make a choice about what they feel they need right now um, and, you know, in their lives, what goals they want to work towards. Uh, and some veterans, depending um, on their setting that they're referred from, some veterans choose one of those 43 groups and other veterans pick multiple groups every day. It's so refreshing to hear about the variety of classes. Yes. They're not just strictly what we think of traditional mental health classes. Yes. But who can use the recovery center? Well, I think there's, we like to say there's something for everybody. Um, many of the veterans referred to the recovery center are coming from our residential units. Um, but others are referred from, by their primary care doctors um, or by the housing program that they're in. Uh, and veterans can self-refer. So they, so they can go directly to 
the, the wellness center. Right, they can, they can come directly to the recovery center, let us know that they're interested. Um, we do ask that folks come to a one hour orientation before they start so that they can kind of understand what our procedures are and also so they get an idea of what offerings we have. Okay, and so how many veterans are, or how frequently are veterans referred to the recovery center? Yeah, we, um, looking back at the data from the beginning of this year, we are getting um, generally like 10 to 12 referrals a week. That's, a, so it's pretty it busy. It keeps us busy, keeps how, us busy. How long do people typically use the recovery center? Is there a... Yeah, that's a, a good question. Yeah. It depends, again. So um, veterans on the residential units who have a certain length of stay, uh, by, by the rules and procedures of the units, uh, may only have, you know, three months or so that they could participate. Um, but we have outpatients who've been literally coming for years. and They just find it helpful and supportive. I have one gentleman who's been through one of my groups, I mean, multiple, multiple times, but um, it, he says that every time he goes through the eight sessions, he hears things a little differently. Okay. Right, and yeah. also the, the, the discussion changes and just the support of the other veterans. Yeah, I'm sure the support is comforting. Yes, yeah. yes. So how does a veteran who is interested in the class get more information? So someone who maybe they want to bring it up to their provider or, or right. self-refer, how do they learn more about the recovery center? One way is uh, or get to... get connected. Right, right. So um, uh, many, I would say probably the majority of our veterans work with some mental health provider. So whether that be a therapist or um, uh, a psychiatrist providing medications or perhaps they're on a residential unit and they can get information through their provider, their provider uh, would be happy to refer them. Um, Otherwise, uh, they can certainly come to our building. We're in building 366 at Perry Point. Um, come to our front desk. We can give them information. What about the uh, monitoring process? When someone's in the program, they've selected their classes, how often do you meet with the veterans to see if they're achieving their goals? And is there, a, like, is there some, I'm think, when I think of classes, I think of semesters and a, an end, mm -hmm, a term, mm -hmm. a beginning and an end. How do you monitor the veterans progress and, and help them move on? So because we're a group-based program, we don't meet one-to-one -one with the veterans and monitor their progress that way. Um, they're like if they're on the residential unit or they work with a therapist in the mental health clinic, which probably the major that would be the majority of our veterans. Um, they would work with their individual provider to decide are they meeting their goals. Okay. Now, they can always talk to one of the providers, and we also have a, an add drop process similar to you might, what you might find in a community college. So if a veteran feels like uh, a group is not helping them progress towards their goals, they can, with no you know, penalties, they can drop it and choose something else. They can certainly consult with any of our providers to get an idea about is there something that would be more helpful. Okay. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for this update about the Recovery you're Center. Welcome. Glad you're to welcome. hear that you're adding more classes and yes. meeting, the, meeting the veterans' whole needs. And what the feedback we're getting from veterans is they really like these mind-body approaches. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing wrong with going to a class and learning information, you know, but um, they're, they're kind of buying into the, the holistic approach. And, and it, you know, it's similar to also what they're getting in the Wellness Center yeah. with Dr. Bowman. Yeah, because you can't compartmentalize everything. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And we're all, con everything's connected right. is what we're learning. Right. Well, thank you so much again, Dr. Gardner, thank for joining you. us. Thanks for having me. Okay. We're going to take a short break, but when we return, we'll hear from a veteran who's benefited from the Recovery Center and the Wellness Center at the Perry Point VA Medical Center. So please stay tuned. I think one of the exciting campaigns that the VA Maryland Healthcare System has embarked on is the Televet campaign. As a veteran myself, you know, I'm really more interested in what a fellow veteran's perspective on their health care service is going to be. So I would really encourage all of our veterans who have been to a VA Maryland health care facility to tell fellow veterans about their experience. I wish someone would have told me about the VA health care years ago. If you see a veteran, ask them if they're using VA health care. Make a difference. Tell a vet. Welcome back to Veterans Health Watch. Today we've been talking about two programs that treat an entire person and not just a condition. Joining us to talk about the two programs and how they've helped him is Mr. Timothy Tharp, a Navy veteran. Mr. Tharp, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Nice to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about your military service and when you served in the military? Uh, yes, ma'am. I came in the uh, United States Navy in 1985 and served until 1989. 
And tell us what happened or what, what occurred with you when you returned home? Uh, when I came home, uh, I went back to school and uh, I started to uh, go into powerlifting and uh, I started a personal training business and uh, did very well at it. And then one time I was helping a friend out and uh, I fell off the back of a U-Haul truck and uh, I hurt my back and I, uh, after a time of going through my savings, I became homeless and um, I lost my way and I went back home and uh, I became very suicidal and uh, I tried to kill myself and then uh, I went into a private uh, civilian hospital and then my niece which uh, dates a person that works for the VA told me I could go into the VA hospital and uh, I went into Martinsburg VA which is the hospital that's for my area I'm from Deep Creek Lake and then I was sent up here in 2012 into the VA um, in building 364B and I was here until 2013 uh, in May and then got put into CHEP housing here uh, which was a very good organization and uh, then I went back home uh, and then I had some more mental, uh, some more health issues uh, then I became very suicidal again and came back up here uh, again after trying to commit suicide and uh, I'm back here again and, uh, and my mental health is helping me I'm taking PTSD therapy now, and um, I'm getting coping skills from building 80, uh, which has helped me to deal with my demons that I have in my head. And uh, I go to Dr. Bowman's in building 19, and they help you deal with your body, your mind, and your uh, health. And uh, they preach the whole thing of putting everything together to make a your your health a priority yeah i wanted to ask you a oh, little I'm, bit more i about apologize that. Oh, about no, that it's fine. It's fine. no it's fine I'm, I'm glad you're here okay. with us and, thank you and that the services have been availed to you that you've taken advantage of them yeah it's tell, been yeah. it's been incredible tell us a little bit more about you were getting into it about the wellness we've been talking about the wellness center and the recovery center yeah. how has that helped you you mentioned the whole person and bringing it all together uh well the great thing about building daddy with dr gardner with what they do there um, they bring veterans in and they have multiple classes from dealing with anger issues, dealing with uh, depression, uh, anxiety, uh, with, uh, they have a thing called ACT, which is like a mindfulness, which is where they put you in the here and now. It's how you can step back okay. and look at things. One, it's like smelling the roses. You look at things the here and now instead of looking at the past or in the future. You look at things now. and you judge yourself about what you're doing at this point in time and in, in, in the moment. Okay. Um, they have wonderful, wonderful instructors. And uh, it helps give you coping skills so whenever you do go back into society, you can help deal with the pressures. Mm -hmm. uh, with what Dr. Bowman does with the doctors that she has over Building 19, uh, they teach mind, body, and soul and they want you to have everything put together to where you're not only dealing with your health, but they want everything connected, like a synergy yeah. type thing. Um, and they have wonderful personalities, they're very professional, and they care about the veterans, which sometimes you don't meet people that actually, you know, sometimes care about the veterans, and they really do, which helps out a lot. Yeah, they seem, they're really passionate about what they do yes. and how it all works together. You've used both centers. What, can you, what would you say has helped you the most? What, kind, what clicked for you? Um, I think with uh, the personnel has really uh, helped bring me, has made me feel comfortable to where I can express myself and express my feelings to where if I have a problem, um, I'm not hesitant to bring it up because I feel that if I do, that it will be, it, it will be, you know, they'll make me feel comfortable and say, I'll, I'll do this for you instead of, you know, pushing me away and saying, well, we'll deal with this another time. Uh, and that makes me feel much more comfortable. And Dr. Bowman talked about creating an environment that was just more welcoming and yes. less, 
less medical or clinical looking yes. to create that relaxed, yeah. open environment. Yes. And, very, it make, and it makes you feel much more comfortable. And, and the thing for veterans, it makes you feel wanted. It makes you feel uh, accepted, which, you know, I have PTSD and, and, you, and you sometimes on the outside, you don't feel like you feel like you're looked at with a stigma. Mm-hmm. And here you're not. You know, it's like you're all inclusive. You're part of a family, and that makes you feel so much better because you don't have to worry about people looking at you and saying, "Well, this person has that, or this person has this." You know, and it, it's definitely a warm feeling whenever you can go and talk to someone, and they don't judge you because it, it's a non-judgmental environment. Yeah, Dr. Bowman mentioned um, not asking what's wrong with you, but what, but or what's the matter, but asking what matters to you and helping you set those goals. Right. Would you mind sharing with us some of the goals you've set? Um, no, I actually um, I want to find peace with myself. Uh, I want to be able to love myself. Um, I want to be able to one day hopefully be able to find a mate uh, and fall in love and have a relationship which I've never been able to in my whole entire life. Um, And I want to find joy and uh, I think if I can find those things I'll be able to uh, live a happy life which I've never been able to, uh, to have yet in my life. Mr. Thorpe, I hope you find those things too. It sounds like you're well on your way Thank you. to, uh, to finding them here at the Recovery Center. You're one of the first patients to, to use the new Recovery Center. Yes, ma'am. Or the Wellness Center, I yes, should ma'am. say. Yes, ma'am. I've been yeah, very blessed. So, yeah. So what, what, stru- what, sh- what struck you as different compared to some of the treatments that you've gone through before when you used the uh, Wellness Center? Um, I was actually treated as a human being, yeah. which is very important, being a veteran. Yeah. Unfortunate that that's different, but fortunately you did find that here. Yes, ma'am. And the campus is beautiful. Oh, my, oh my God. You get, <laughs> yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah. Do you get to take advantage of the, the area? Uh, walk yes, and, I walk yeah. five days a week, and uh, sometimes I don't put my headphones on. You see deer around all the time, mm-hmm. and it's very incredible. Yeah, and we talk about that whole... Uh, that holistic approach of yes. mind, body, and spirit is yes. great to get out and exercise and yes. walk and yes, and you know about exercise. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Good to Very much so. Trigger those those uh, feelings again. Yes, ma'am. Exercise. Very much so. Yeah. Well, great. Thank you so much for joining Thank us, Mister Top. I wish you wellness and wholeness that you're looking for. Thank and, you. And and I hope that you continue with the program. Thank here. you so much. Thank you. God bless. Same to you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for your service. Thank you very much. Well, that wraps up this edition of Veterans Health Watch. If you have questions about today's show or would like to make suggestions for future topics, please give us a call at 1-800-949-1003, extension 5407, or visit our website at maryland.va.gov. You can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter. And remember, if you are a veteran or you know a veteran who is not using the VA Maryland Healthcare System, please call us at one 800 463-6295, extension 7324. Visit one of our medical centers or visit us online at maryland.va.gov. We look forward to serving you. Please join us next time. The VA Maryland Healthcare System has three main campuses where we deliver medical care. And also six outpatient clinics, which are conveniently located around Central and Eastern Maryland. All these facilities provide a broad array of services, primary care, comprehensive mental health care services, audiology services, optometry services, podiatry services. And at our main medical centers, we have a full array of medical services to offer all veterans. Come visit us at any one of our locations. We look forward to serving you.